Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Today, we are answering one of the number one questions I get asked. Which is the most effective pre-wash cleaner? Built Hamber Auto Foam or the new kid on the block, Built Hamber Touchless? So welcome back to the channel guys, great to see you. Let's get stuck into this one. In this glass here, I have Built Hamber Touchless, their new car pre-wash system, which is really designed to be applied to the car prior to making the contact wash, so you can rinse off as much of that dirt before you then go in and contact the car with the aim of reducing swirling. That's what pre-washes do. So 5% panel impact ratio, we mix that. In this glass, I have the older product, the Built Hamber Auto Foam, which has been around for years and perhaps has a reputation being the strongest pre-wash on the market, as my best snow foam video demonstrated many years ago. Very powerful stuff. Okay, so that's the key thing of this video. Which one's gonna clean the best? Another thing here, we've had a market leading pH neutral snow foam to give us a comparison. And we also have a glass of water, not to drink, but to give us like a control, which will be useful to see if the difference between these products and just soaking with water. So there's our four materials we're gonna test against. And in this video, we've got a lovely Golf R, which has the perfect layer of winter road film on them that's gonna be really good to perform this test on. And we're gonna take 10 mil of each of these liquids, lay them out in the same way, allow them to dwell and soak in to the dirt, and then pressure wash them off as consistently as we can um, like you would basically if you're washing your car, and then observe the results. There's some important things to understand about these products because these could also influence your decision on which one you purchase. First up, Built Hamber Auto Foam. Cost, you can get it sometimes about £17, probably the rock bottom price, but typically it's £17.95 for five litres of product. And you can use it at generally a maximum ratio of about four to five percent. I think it might say four percent on the bottle. Okay, so the concentrations you use them at are roughly the same, although Touchless does say you can go up to 5%. I think that's okay for both of them. Autofoam is primarily uh, an ethoxylated alcohol-based surfactant, okay, which is that, so that's the type of material that they're using predominantly in this product here. And this is the old bottle, the old design. There's, they've got new canisters, you know, containers now. Um, it's pH 13, so it's a strong alkaline. It's designed so that you use a high pressure rinse on it to get rid of it. It's cationic, so that means it clings to the surface and forms a cationic film. And that's why you perhaps need the high pressure rinse. I didn't even know that. Um, it's biodegradable, so when you're putting this on your car and you're washing it and it's falling into the, onto the ground, it will go inert. You know, that's part of our guidelines to use biodegradable chemicals. And it's very important, I know, to Built Hamber. That's one of the things about their products is they try and avoid the use of certain materials, NTAs, um, hydroxides and phosphates that are more harmful to aquatic life and all that sort of stuff, which is important. So anyone that sees me doing this and says, oh, you're destroying the environment. No, you're using um, you know, chemicals which are environmentally safe. Cleaning power, Built Hamber have got like a little scale and I think they've rated this at 9.3, which is interesting. Next up, Touchless, their new pre-wash system. It costs $19.99 for five litres, which is, you know, typically, so it's a couple of pounds more expensive. Um, it's a sugar-based surfactant, so it's not an alcohol ethoxylate, different technology. The sugar-based surfactant is supposed to dissipate charge. The dirt is also held together and held on the car, I think, with small static electric charges. I pretend I understand that. I don't understand that. But it's supposed to dissipate that charge so it, it breaks down the building block which holds dirt together, which other surfactants I don't think can do. It's, I think it's something unique to the sugar-based technology. It has a pH of 12. It can be used with a high or low pressure rinse. So I, 
it doesn't say that it's cationic, so it's more free rinsing off of the car. Non-cationic is the way I put it. There's other types of surfactant, anionic, amphoretic, and non-ionic. I can just about remember them, and cationic. Um, it's biodegradable, like the other product, Autofoam, but it's bio-based, so it's built on materials which are bi uh, biological. I don't know. I think bio-based means it's built on a slightly more eco-friendly material, sugar, you know, something bio-based. And Built Hamber rate the cleaning power on their scale as 9.6, which implies it has more cleaning power. Now, that's a little clue for me in my video. You know, if Built Hamber are rating it slightly higher, then they must know something. Now, here's the thing. Some other bits of information. If you have a heavily soiled vehicle, you can combo these. Put auto foam on first, rinse off, and then you can go on again with touchless. You can. But lots of you, perhaps, and even me, I don't want two pre-washes. I just want one. So I want to know which one is going to win this test as well. So you can combo them. Use auto foam first. The other thing is Built Hamber say that in certain circumstances, auto foam might outperform touchless because not all road films are the same. Some are more greasy, some are salt based at certain times of the year, some are sandy if you're in like the desert and your car gets wet and gets sand stuck on it. So there are different types of road film, pollen build up and stuff like that. So a degreaser one might do better at certain times of the year like the auto foam and the touchless might do better at other times of the year or certain types of dirt so you get the idea um i've asked this question to people which do you prefer and i can't get a solid answer some people say touchless some people say auto foam i'll give you my view i'm leaning towards auto foam being uh, sorry sorry touchless the new one as being slightly more powerful one other very quick discussion around all this subject area is a lot of protection products especially old pace waxes can advise you to wash your car or pre-wash your car with a mild pH neutral soap. So the detailing industry and the car cleaning industry has kind of promoted that this mild approach to cleaning your car is perhaps the way to go because it preserves your LSP. Um, and a lot of people are really obsessed with that. Now, an alkaline cleaner, a stronger cleaner that's going to strip that dirt. From the testing I've done, if a car protection product would take 25 passes or washes with pH neutral to remove it after it's fully cured on application. Then roughly changing that to an alkaline product, it might take 22. That's a finger in the wind because it's going to vary from product to product and protection product to product. But it gives you a finger in the wind. There's a slight degradation difference. But here's the thing that's, that is important in a real life scenario. If a pH neutral product, especially a pre-wash, isn't effective at cleaning dirt, and we're going to find out the difference then that dirt film that's left on the car needs to be removed with contact and rubbing the dirt film over the surface. Now that abrasive effect is gonna be more detrimental than any shift in kind of pH. When you also consider these products are running at about between one and 4% PIR. So 95, 96, 97, 98% of it's water. So the actual active ingredients are tiny. But like I say, if it's not cleaning it and you've got to rub it off with contact and move the abrasive slurry over the surface of your paint, then that abrasive effect is going to be greater than the difference in alkaline and pH neutral products, potentially. Very difficult to test, but the, the test should really be in, in your logic in terms of what do you value more? Last stage protection products, which are cheap, and we've all got hundreds of them. You can apply them very quickly. You can even spray them on when you're you're washing the car now, so they're cheap and very readily available to apply, or do you value maintaining the clear coat on your car, which isn't cheap <laughs> and is not easy to maintain, so you cannot go on putting swirls in your paintwork, buffing them out, swirling them up, buffing them out. So that's why, for me, I am looking for products that can strip off that abrasive road film which is much more important to me than, than LSP degradation, which has just always been a non-issue. So let me know your thoughts on that because that's uh, an area of contention as well. Test with the actual pressure washer. And you can even see that the water has dried quicker than the surfactant, which makes kind of sense. So let's go. Try and keep the distance the same.
Okay. There is a big difference actually, but the pH neutral one has worked, which is kind of good. So let's just move the camera. Come off the tripod. So there's the auto phone. There's the touchless. There's the pH neutral. And the water, you're struggling really to see an improvement. We really need these to dry. But for me, when they're wet, this one looks good. There's definitely some cleaning going on here though on the pH neutral, which is which is okay. And the water not so much. I'm gonna air dry these now and get them completely bone dry. We'll come back. Check this. H2O, a slight footprint of improvement, but it didn't do a good job. Let's just get that in focus. Uh, man, there we go. It's a slight improvement. Sorry about the camera work. pH neutral, a step up from water. Not perfect, but it's had a slight improvement. That's dry now. So we've taken some of the dirt off. Ooh, how, how worthwhile is it over water? A little bit. This is quite heavy film. Touchless. That there, it's clean. It's actually clean. It's actually clean. And then auto foam. It's nearly clean but not quite you can see that little film just there i'm not sure if you're seeing it just little bits of the salty film it hasn't got off there you see it whereas over here you're virtually there so let's just come back you can see it can't you so water fourth place ph neutral third place auto foam second place touchless first place and for me um, a clear winner okay guys so the results are in I'm running out of touchless I'm running out of auto foam which one am I going to be going to buy next when they completely run out well I'll make sure I've used all my auto foam first because it still works really well but I should be buying touchless the results of this video show that touchless to me has a slight edge and that edge has occurred every time I've compared the two or tested the two. And I've, I'll put another informal video where I just test them on a dirty car again, under pressure, where I thought Touchless edged it. But this is slightly more controlled what I've done here. PIR's fixed. And the incredible thing here is the amount of dirt Touchless removes with a, followed by a pressure wash. But pressure wash is really, really impressive. So anyone, and I get this in the comments, that says to me pre-washing is an utter waste of time and it doesn't do anything, you could just pressure with, wash with water. I've said that on the channel. And we've got some data now that actually even a pH neutral pre-wash has a slight improvement over water, but there's not much in it. But a good pre-wash, and I said this five years ago, <laughs> just to get that in, <laughs> a good pre-wash, is absolutely critical because it can literally take away 95 to 90 percent of that heavy road film so you imagine if you didn't pre-wash that the amount of dirt that you can still see there it's going to be on the panel and going to be, have to be shifted so that's why touchless for me or auto foam really are must-have products this is not i'm not giving you any revelations here people know how heavy these products clean um, but this gives you a really good example of it and um, if you only want one, my recommendation is touchless. If you want two, fair enough. If you disagree, because some of you do, tell me what you've done 
to make sure that auto foam, you know, is the strongest one for you. Why? Because it still cleans well. So maybe you just haven't done this sort of formal comparison, or maybe you have, and it comes through. Uh, if you don't, you know, if you've got another pre-wash product you like, by all means put that in the comments and I'll try and try them out. But it's very hard to look beyond Built Hamber Touchless as a pre-wash, especially when you combine the fact it's 19.99 for five litres. Um, yes, 5% is a high PIR, but the, the cars aren't always this dirty. This requires, you know, this is filthy, so it requires that high PIR. A lot of times I use this, you know, maybe as low as 2%, or maybe even sometimes a little bit lower in the summer. So very effective products. Thank you very much for watching. What do you think of the results? And on that bombshell, guys, I'm going to leave you. Um, take care, and I'll see you very soon on the Forensics Detailing Channel. Bye for now. i